So uh, at the moment, you're out in the 20 by 30 room that opens into this privy. By the way, with the door closed, no privy smell whatsoever. Mm, Makes it through that door. Okay, nice. What, what do you think about the ideal old drum of uh, going in and shooting an arrow up in that uh, shaft? Why, why don't we do oh, the I thought we were already doing or the, or the uh, wraith form. form. I'm sorry, the yeah, wraith yeah, form. Yeah. That's I right. said I was going to cast wraith form. I'm sorry, I forgot that, yeah. Okay. Well, what are you waiting on, wizard? Let's go. So, Mascar <laughs> is casting wraith form on himself, yes. Then what is Mascar right. doing? Well, presumably, well, before I cast it, I'm going to make a little bit of a plan with them. Okay. Um, if I... Uh, if I yell help, that means um, run away. If I yell run away, that means come to me. Um, so backwards from what it would normally be. Okay. Um, and right, I, like we always do. Yeah. And <laughs> I'm going to ask you to open the door. I will cast wraith. I'll cast wraith form. Ask you to open the door. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go up. Look around. Go down and go down again and look around down there and then come back. Down the toilet? Yep. So he's going to go up and then oh. go down into the... Yeah, so yeah, it's not if, we're on, if we're on floor two, I'm going to go up to floor three and look around and down to floor one and look around Got and it. then come back. Do can we have to form, open the door or can you just shoo, pass through it? Um, I think Wraith form is more like Gash's form in this edition, right, Ed? Are you yes. able to man manipulate anything when you're, in, when you're in Wraith form, do you know? No. Uh, no. You can carry what's on you. It's turned, uh, with right. the possible exception of certain artifacts and relics, um, which would just fall off you if you turn it into wraith form. So you'd know right away they're not they're not playing the game with you. Everything mm -hmm. else changes with you, but yeah, you can't do anything. So um, like three artifacts hit the floor, and then I I move on. <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> carrying all these artifacts. Then... Hmm. Wait a second. All right, it's plan. All right. Are we just staying? Are we shutting the door on you, or leaving it open so we can hear you call. Leave it open so you can hear me call, as we okay. always do. As we always, <laughs> as we always do. Okay. Yeah, as we've been doing for years. We never close the bathroom door. That's right. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> now, Jeff. Now, Jeff. Been, Jeff. <laughs> you Canadians, I don't know. I'm going to go up first and then down. Cheeky. Um, okay, you're going to go up first and then down. So, you. In Wraith form, you are glowing faintly. As in, you look like a phantom or a, a wraith. You do not look invisible. You are a wraith. Understood. And you drift soundlessly south along the corridor, hang a west, and then you don't have to use the handholds. You rise up the shaft above the sea. There is a smell from below you, which you can still smell in wraith form, of poo and pee, and there is a smell above you that smells more like saltpeter, or sulfur, or extinguished flame. And you go up 20 feet. You go up 40 feet. And the faint glow you're giving off shows you what is looking at you. You're looking at what's up here. It's looking back. 40 feet up the shaft, above 40 feet above the wooden hole, or the wooden board with a hole in it, is a ledge and an alcove. And this side alcove has four warriors in leather armor sitting in it, staring at you. They don't look happy to see you. Um, they've got weapons all around them. They've obviously taken their weapons off their belts to lay them on the ground so as not to make noise. And one of them is holding a glass vial, a Molotov cocktail, a glass vial with a wick in it, an oil in it, 
and the wick is still smoldering, as in it's been pinched out. But there's still wisps of smoke coming from it. A whole bunch more of them are holding identical glass vials, but these have not yet been lit. And so you are looking at four warriors. They're looking at you. Human. You, yes, human. Uh, Middle-aged, pure suit, um, pissed off, looking. <laughs> they haven't said anything, and they continue not to say anything. How did they get here? Is there a door behind them, or did they? Is there a way to keep going up, or they're just no? They're in a what looks to you like a blind end, like solid stone like... all, all yeah. around them. Okay, so they came um, up those handholds. You think? Got it. And um, how close to the edge? How close to the? Uh, shaft are they? Are they like five foot deep in the alcove or are they right there on the edge of the alcove? The alcove goes back about 15, 18 feet. They are right at the lip at the moment. Or two of them are. The guy who was about to do something with that lit Molotov cocktail and another guy who had a second cocktail ready. And by the looks of their poses... What they were planning to do was hurl that lit thing down the shaft. And the second guy was going to light his off the first just before it was thrown. You know, like two guys sharing a lit cigarette and an unlit yep. cigarette. Yep. Um, yeah, they were going to do that. And then the other two warriors are much further back. Hmm. Tell them we're searching for a grail. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I need some essential realms lore I'm forgetting, Ed. Go ahead. Um, what is the appropriate symbol for, you know, sort of this, but, uh, <laughs> much ruder? I am taking note of that. <laughs> oh, okay. So for a human, uh, you have borrowed the elven one and the human one is to take this finger <laughs> okay mm -hmm. and you stick it in your mouth and you lick it lasciviously <laughs> like you're you're filleting your finger and then you pull it out glistening and you go <laughs> and then you, stick it, then you <laughs> and then you stick it back into your mouth and lick it clean with uh, a big smile you okay. go, ahead, go ahead and do that eric I do precisely <laughs> that. Oh, oh. Show miss so we didn't do it. There you go. <laughs> Gotta put it back in. <laughs> oh, so dear. Okay, your Oscar's in the mail. Uh, mm. <laughs> wow. Wow. For posterity, that's recorded. I love it. Uh, and then, uh, just for the record, we've all heard Eric's one NPC voice, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, now, hey, hey Eric, right now, no I'm the piling only on. Say one NPC voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no piling on. Come on. <laughs> okay. So, so you do that it's gesture. Unfortunately, the... true, Ed. Yeah. Well, yeah. Mm. Uh, I I say nothing. Uh, <laughs> uh, so you don't say anything either, as in wraith form. But you make this gesture to the to the four of them. Yep. And one of them. Does something swift in the region of his codpiece. <laughs> <laughs> and out of that brief flurry, something like dust or glowing stuff is flung at you. It's like I glitter. dive as fast as I can. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, and <laughs> as you are diving. Your wraith form is going away. The, oh. What the glitter did was yep. cancel your wraith form. So you two wham down on this shitter board. With Do your I land on weight. my back or can I land on my back? I, I'm just rolling to see if the board survives first. Oh, <laughs> oh man. And it does. Oh, yes, you can God. land on your back. Yes, you can <laughs> land on your back. 
I cast lightning bolt up the shaft, and oh. I should at least get the oh, two that are near the edge. Nice. <laughs> nice. That's why I asked how close to the edge they were. <laughs> uh, you realize how short the shaft is? Oh. Just saying. Lightning As the extra I'm station. angling it slightly, Ed, so that hopefully it'll go into the alcove and ricochet around in the alcove. Awesome. <laughs> yes, hopefully it will. I don't know that this alcove is big enough. To hey, avoid so you take risks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do sixty feet. <laughs> okay. So, um, Mascar. What's Mascar's level again? Eight. Yeah, that's what I thought. Pretty soon, Eric, you'll be playing Mascar the second. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I'm just gonna check. I shall avenge my brother. <laughs> okay. There's this loud zap. And lightning leaps all over the place, and you hear, ah! and then you hear this huge blossoming of oil just oh gouting my God. oil because all <laughs> oh. of their little pearl bombs went off. And you hear, oh, you hear this tinkling noise of glass shattering and tinkling. I run as fast as I can. All around. <laughs> and that's just before this wall of flame comes back down the shaft <laughs> lightning bolt with it you're rolling <laughs> off can i have a d20 roll er, uh mascar oh, oh. mascar can i have a d20 dex check yep, i turn to the yeah. rest of the party and i say does a scream of death mean we run away or <laughs> he didn't <laughs> say <at them. laughs> he didn't charge <laughs> out of 15 ed okay so you take two points of lightning damage oh wow arcing yeah. to you so nice. minus two minus two hit points and then the flame hang on wait i'm a first edition wizard i have to see if i'm dead uh, <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> now you must have at least another hit point you need to have at least you have at least four <laughs> no i'm still alive i'm still alive <laughs> so the roar of flame goes right through the hole in the shitter <laughs> before it incinerates that board to ash oh. and it goes down the shaft where human Methane. feces have been yeah. marinating <laughs> oh. below these many months. <laughs> the explosion that follows is both um, interesting in its smell and very blue green in its hue. Oh, shoot. But he's not dead. <laughs> and explodes upwards and <laughs> Mascar who has been flung a little bit to the east to the corner to fetch up against the wall is now blown up the shaft uh, oh, no. sorry not, not up not up the uh, poo shaft uh, up the corridor and into the 20 by 30 room where you rejoin your comrades by ricocheting across the room to the north wall <laughs> and sliding down it. I slam the door shut and say, what the hell happened? <laughs> I, you, you you, you, you're all right. I didn't you're see right. Any. Walking off. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where Mascar says, oh, it's supposed to work that way. <laughs> I thought it was going to be uh, camera angle changes to the front of the gorge. The wall explodes. <laughs> ah! Credits roll. <laughs> Credits roll. Mascar, you, you, you got something right here, buddy. Right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm impressed. I look at Mascar and I look him up and down. I'm like, nice work. Hey, it looks like you've been manscaped. Second so. <laughs> one for the team. Oh, you're short. Sure the other call. guys. <laughs> He's been marinated. Oh my god. <clears throat> what what hails that smell? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, they might still be up there. I didn't see a way for them to get out. So if you guys want to go, like, open the door and go back and see if they're coming down, they might be easy pickings. Sure. I think yeah, I think there's some of it on your. I think there's some ahead, of on your shirt. There's some of them on them on your shirt. If uh, if they is in there, they ain't happy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I will stand Temp guard out here. I believe Tempest would call on us to loot their bodies. And see if there's gear that could help us further in our adventures. Oh, mm. It may have blown up. They had these like oceans that blew up, which was kind of cool, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> I will go in. 
Mm-hmm. I will uh, see what the state of the room is in. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna keep an eye. I'm gonna keep an eye to the uh, to the east on that twenty by twenty room where the um, the two e- entrances are. Yes, just to see if anybody else comes in. Same. Yes, hiding um, in the shadows and just okay. An eye. Okay, so you're keeping it. That that's very wise of you for doing that, because what you see is um, a human eyeball floats around the corner, and then a second eyeball comes after it and joins it. And they both look at you, and they blink and zip oh. back the way they came. <laughs> they do blink. Okay, hey guys, um, we're they know we're well. I, they obviously know we're here, but uh, well, if they didn't, they know we blew up the shitter. Yeah, Come on, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they know say now. We're, we're in the shit now. <laughs> uh, so, uh, <laughs> speaking of that, Braligar hmm. proceeded um, with the the fervor of Tempest. Back through that door towards the privy. Ralagar, you are smelling a smell you have not smelled in here before. <laughs> <laughs> it is a smell of very greasy bacon. Victory! Greasy <laughs> bacon? <laughs> they were orcs. Wow. I will. Um... That's pretty specific, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> if, you've, if you've ever smelt burnt humans, Oh, yes, I have actually. No. Yeah, yeah. If they aren't crisp, if they're crisp, it gets gets crispier. Oh Think my of gosh. pork roast. If, yeah, yeah, yeah. Burnt pork roast. That's exactly it. Do if they do they smell wow. like Canadian bacon or just regular bacon? <laughs> <laughs> it makes a well, difference. Back, Canadian bacon up in Canada is known as back bacon. Bacon. Back yeah. bacon. There you go. It's a, it's Canadian Bob's bacon. Favorite. I find is a bit more hammy. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, like Eric. So, I get it. <laughs> oh, 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 oh wow, we're firing in all directions now. <laughs> uh, well I'm just, waking up now, so hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um you turn the corner, the air is full of greasy smoke. The walls okay. are covered with you hope it's grease. Um, th- there is no longer a wooden board, or a ewer, or a basket of white leaves, or a shovel, or <laughs> there's nothing except black scorch. So pretty much everything was incinerated. And there is a creaking all around you as overheated rock starts to cool again. Hmm. Okay. Wow. You are fairly confident that nothing and no one survived the inferno. Okay. Good job. Largest whatever that, whatever they used, ever. I want them. I want it. <laughs> That's a great um, idea. I guess I the the walls, the, the stone is, is gonna be too hot to climb up, I assume. Yeah. Like if I put my hand next to it. It'll so. radiate heat, so I wouldn't want to use those handholds and footholds to climb up the shaft. Yeah, you probably could climb the shaft in 10, 12 minutes from now, sort of-ish, but not right. right yet. Yeah. All right, then I will go back to the group. Okay. Yeah, And we tell them that we saw the eyes. They know we're here. They might be sending people. Maybe we should get to move on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We need to get in a better def- defensible position. Right, I'm right behind you. I wonder. I'm wondering if. I'm wondering if the privy would be a good place for a secret door or something. What do you? Do? If the what? What do you do in your privy? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have a place to keep extra leaves. <laughs> um. Yeah. Play Elf <laughs> magazine. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Dwarven dungeon. I mean, it, it does beg oh, the question: wow. How the I hell did they get up there? <laughs> how the hell that's right. They they climbed okay. those stairs. There was no other way up there. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a yeah. room above the Mas- trees, anyway. Mascar is confident, having seen the whole thing. Yeah, there's no other way up there, okay. as far as he can tell. I mean, there might be a secret door, which means at the that back of the Elko, pretty committed. That we were going to stumble in this way. That's a weird, you know, it's kind of a strange place to put an ambush. So, well, but, no, with the no, methane in the 
Molotov cocktails. It's quite the death I don't, trap. I don't think that they were ambushing you. I think they were hiding. I oh. heard us coming and then went and hid. Yeah. They went and my blades after all. They went Oops. and hid, and <laughs> you just came after them. Hey, t- hey, uh, Braligar, maybe you should cast Speak with Dead. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> or Speak uh, with Bacon. Yeah, yeah, speak yeah. with bacon. <laughs> <laughs> and and yet, but you gotta do Canadian bacon. You just say, "What are you a boot?" Okay. <laughs> we gotta wait. At, we gotta wait ten or twelve minutes before we get up there. If there's anything to cast it on, I I don't think there's gonna be. I think, yeah. um, you know, and during that time, they could be sending, you know, yeah, reinforcements. Right. West, we should probably head. We should probably head back. Or we should move east. to where the lightning was. Yeah, so that was the path that was most traveled, right? Into the yes. lightning room, to the north of this room right here? Wow. Correct. Okay. So we go. Okay. So you're going into the 20 by 20 room. Yep, heading north. and On then the cross passage, yeah. And then turning then west. west. Yep. And then and... that's where we heard, or we <laughs> smelled and heard the crackling of the lightning. Yes. So from the intersection... That runs due west, still smooth level floor. Ceiling is 20 feet up in this area. Uh, It's a smooth ceiling, nothing on it, no green slime, nothing. Not even any cracks, no damp, nothing. And it goes 30 feet, and then it flares in both walls. It goes, the north wall becomes a northeast wall, and the south wall becomes a southeast wall. And for another 20 feet west from where it starts to flare, it widens another 10 feet to the north, another 10 feet to the south. So you're looking like a pointing arrowhead pointing back towards the entrance to the haunted halls. So the west wall is of this end of the corridor is 30 feet north to south, and the center um, 10 feet are these huge, tall bronze doors, because this area, where it starts to flare, the ceiling also goes up again, at a smooth sloping angle upwards, until it's a 50 foot high ceiling. These two closed stone doors um, are flanked by statues on either side, stone statues that are both half turned, they're standing on pedestals, they're very tall statues, and they're both half turned to indicate the doors with their with their hands that are closest to the doors. Like they're saying, hey, go through there. And from their hands, their fingertips, a blue glow grows and then snap, crackle, pop, z- jots across, arcs across from the southern statue to the northern statue and then back again. I, I start counting. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay. So you start counting from the first crackle you see, or when the crackle ends, because the crackle lasts what you would say six six seconds or so. So you you wait and you wait and you wait, and it's almost two minutes before. Uh, yeah, it's not that the triangle isn't that big, but yeah, right. yeah, but just you, similar you, enough, right? Yeah, but you've got the uh, the layout correct. Okay, can you show that again? Yeah, I'll just quickly fix it and then. If that's correct, can you talk while you hold it up so that it shows yeah. you big? Talk so you get yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, talk. How does so... that look? Does that look all right? Yep, that looks right. Yeah, okay. perfect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Thank you. Okay, so it's about two minutes after the first crackle that a second one shots across. Okay, I take my dagger and I wait a few seconds and I just toss it into the room to see if something in the room activates it. Or if it's purely time based, the dagger clatters to the floor. Mm, nothing. Okay, it seems we have two minutes. Uh, you know, we're 
we are, should be safe, hopefully. Mm. I retrieved my dagger. Uh, what are the statues made of? Can uh, you tell from here? They seem to be made of stone. Um, you're not certain what sort of stone, but it looks like these stone statues have been clad long ago in bronze. Mm. A, a Now, bronze is an alloy, and it can vary very much by the percentages of the various, you know, uh, constituent things that go into the bronze, and that changes its um, hue. Activity. And these are these are very reddish bronze, and it's not a hue that you're used to, because it's that sounds to me like there's way too much. Well, no, there's not usually iron in the bronze, but red is usually. I think iron. it's copper and tin, isn't it? Yeah, it, it's like, but it can be many other metals depending can on it? what you. Okay. Yeah, um, you're not used. To, you see, usually red in the soil and red in a metal means iron, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you're seeing lots of red in this bronze. In other words, it's a bronze mix you're never used to seeing on a daily basis. Now, now are you, the statues human? Uh, they are depictions of humans in armor. A woman with short cropped hair, the sort of short cropped hair she'd have normally to wear a helm mm. without getting it caught. You see, you, could, you can have gorgeous long hair, but unless you coil it into a braid, um, and if you shove the braid down the back of your neck, then you can't turn your head easily. Yeah, mm. Jeff has just pulled up the There you go. There. Yeah, um, without tearing oh. hair out. And if you oh, try and wear excellent. a helm over long hair... You tear out the hairs. And the mm -hmm. figure on the other side, as you can see, looks more male. And they're both pointing at the doors. Yeah, yeah I'm not giving anything away because that's on the front of them. <laughs> yeah, that's on the front of the module. That's the cover of the module. And the artist got it pretty close to right. For nice. Once. I would have made those <laughs> those statues a little a burlier, beefier, and a little less spindly than those. But but other than that, they, he, the artist got it dead right. And I just look at it and go, yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Okay. So that's nothing happened when you, what you're so saying. So you threw the dagger, nothing happened. Well, the dagger, if... the dagger clattered to the floor, and it right. didn't seem to have any effect whatsoever. And then I well, said I retrieved it, so... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the dagger so, is not tingling or anything, it's just your dagger. How far in did the dagger go? I tore, I threw it into the center of the room. Just tossed. I it. mean, like close to the statues, close to the bronze. Yeah, doors. I think I would have uh, I would have thrown it toward the statues, toward in the center of the room, toward the closer to the statues. Yeah, so <laughs> it would be equidistant. It would be on the stone floor, equidistant between the two statues, um, almost directly between them, just a little off to your closer to you from directly between them. So it but, sounds like what we need to do is wait for the next firing, and we have about a round or so to a round and a right. half. To, I mean, after I retreat the, the dagger, I would have gone back to everybody and, like, let's just wait, yeah. and we'll go. Can, can I, uh, in between the, the two minutes, I'm going to see from from the safety of the hallway, if I can, I'm not sure, if I can detect if, like, it would look like those statues swiveled yes, did they move at right? all. Did they move? Could they? Could they like? Could they point out towards us and, you know, cast they, that lightning on us? They question. don't look like they're made to move. Okay. Okay. They don't look to have joint seams in them where they could swivel, and you certainly didn't see them move. I'll let the party know. Like, I mean, it's two minutes that we're waiting, so I'll just say, yeah. Oh, they don't appear to move. And during that time, just. To be on the safe side, I throw my dagger again this time between the statues. Okay, the dagger clatters to the floor. The lightning arcs from one statue to another and back again. The On arc, time. On time. And yeah. the arc, it sort of bends maybe two or three inches down as if it 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 knows the metal's there. But it the arc does not go down to your dagger and up again. Okay. Um, 
it just goes across between the outstretched hands of the statues. Let's go. <clears throat> what if we uh what if we were to throw a, a dagger like actually and hit one of the statues? Oh. Ooh. I, I that was my only dagger. I can't I don't you know somebody else has to throw one. <laughs> I suppose uh, I could use mine. You're not gonna Zont go get it? Zont has an extra one. I have an extra one, yeah. I do. Okay. I do. Okay, who is throwing this dagger? Um, I'm not throwing it. I'll give it to somebody else who has a better way to throw it. I will throw I, it. I can, I can do it. Um, or I can grab something from that pile, you know, a weapon from that pile that we passed. Yeah, we're not far away. We're not far yeah. away from that at all. Yeah, yeah I'm going to... So you're going to walk that. back down the corridor and uh, pick up a weapon. A dagger, yeah. right? Yep. I think there's swords there too. So whatever. Yes, there are get. short swords, and there's one long sword. And you're what are you picking up? Um, well, just a dagger. You know. Okay. Something small. You straighten up with a dagger in your hand, and you get the feeling of being watched. And you uh. look up quickly, and there's two eyeballs just scooting away from you. <laughs> like, and, like, creeper. like together, or did they split? They're together. Are we dead yet? <laughs> and they they scoot. Not yet. They Jeff, scoot. Breakfast of Champions. Oh man, give me some, damn it! What? I'll send you some. Vegemite. Vegemite. Oh my god! Wait, do do uh, they look like Jeff, like arcane Jeff. eyes, like glowing or phantasmal, <laughs> or they just look like floating human eyes? They look like floating human eyes. Oh. Not, um, Jeff, you can buy Vegemite. I know I can, but it's yeah. it's nice that George sends it to me. <laughs> well, yes, yeah, you get it for free. Yeah, <laughs> but but okay, um, okay. These eyes seem to go due east, <laughs> back towards the entrance, the double doors that you came in when they fled from you. You you're picking up and holding a dagger. It looks like a normal dagger. It doesn't talk to you or move in your hand or anything. So what are you going to do with it now? Ah. Uh... Did anybody else see that? The eyeballs? No. We're not with you. Yeah, it's just it's you. Okay. So no one else will. Um, I uh, back away <laughs> very carefully and go back to with the guys. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to explain this, but there was two eyeballs on the ceiling. Uh, similar to the brother. ones that I yeah, similar to the ones that we saw to the south of here. Yeah, they had it for the front doors though. Uh, question, Ed: Do these eyes always seem like they were spaced apart, as if they were part of one creature, or were they independent? They were um, together, as if they're one creature, and closer <laughs> together than if the creature really had a physical nose and stuff. Oh, interesting. Question. Whenever you see it again, reach into your cod piece, grab something, and throw it at it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> What's in your cod piece? I was gonna how, say. how traveled is this room? Like, does it look like anybody go goes through here regularly? Uh, which room? The uh, lightning <clears throat> room? The lightning room, yeah. Yeah, very, very um, well traveled. Okay. All right, so you're tossing the dagger at one of the statues. That's why you went and retrieved it, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's see. I can't see where. Oh, okay. 18. Okay. Very Lovely. nice. Yeah. Do I need to that, show it? That, that it looks, looks, good. It looks <laughs> serious. No, we don't need to show it. So, tell me again, very carefully, what you're doing. <laughs> All right. So, I fling it right in between where the lightning's going. And just uh, kind of taking a step back. Okay. So, you're not throwing it at a statue. I already threw it in between the statues. So oh, yeah, she, these that's right. The that's right. We're doing the statues this time. I'm going to... Toss it right at one of the hands that's uh, off the bolt. Left hand statue with that is the lady or right hand statue? Let's do the lady. Now oh, there's a line that looks good on the <laughs> resume. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you toss. Okay, are you throwing this 
underhand? Are you throwing uh -uh. it overhand? No, I've got it at the end, the pointy end, right? Literally fling it like this. Overhand. Okay. Overhand. overhand. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yep. Okay. Could I have a D20 roll, please? Uh, two D20 rolls, please. Mm -hmm. First one was an 18. First was an 18, yeah. Four. Ooh. Okay. So, your first roll is to hit. Okay. <laughs> you hit the hand dead on, exactly where you intended to. Your second roll was a dexterity check. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh -oh. Which well, you successfully good. made. Yeah. Because you With rolled a four. A four. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, old school. Yeah, yeah. Roll under. Right, right. right. Yeah. It's old yeah. school. You got to roll under. Yeah. Yes. Which means yeah. when the lightning discharge <laughs> goes directly back along the path in which the metal oh. object was thrown, it does not hit her. Sim Simbril with full <laughs> force. So a lightning bolt cracks, a full strength lightning bolt Ooh. cracks right back across the chamber to where you threw it from. Uh oh. But you have threw you threw it and then you flung yourself at full speed across the room just in mm -hmm. case. Mm -hmm. And in this case, <laughs> it was the case that you were just in. <laughs> so um you feel this numbing crackle yeah. <laughs> through your left ankle and boot heel because it's closest because it's the trailing end when you leap. It's the closest mm -hmm. to the lightning bolt that just went Pow! and just about got you. So, but you um, tuck and roll and come to a stop looking very relieved. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, bro, that was my bad. Sorry. <laughs> And uh, you also um, are pretty sure, because you, you leaped right across the room from the south um, the southeast wall. You were very near when you threw it at the thingy. You leaped right across the throat of the room to where it, it widens in the northeast wall, because uh, you were just propelling yourself at full leap. You wanged into the stone wall just as you were rolling to your feet. So you just sort of brushed it. No impact damage. And as you brushed it and came to your feet, you think, this is a secret door right in front of my nose. Ooh. Excellent. <laughs> Guys, look! What a so, generous nice. DM. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> right in the first 10 feet, like the easternmost 10 feet of that flaring wall that is the northeast wall of this flaring room <laughs> is a secret door. Oh, look what I found. <laughs> I thought I was the one supposed to be using my head. What happened? What happened <laughs> to the dagger? Uh, the dagger, the dagger, um, was struck aside in a ricochet of electricity and it yeah. flew due east down the corridor, back out of the flooring part of the room, and clattered to the floor. And, it, and no one took the time to, to like detect magic or anything on the on the daggers, right? No. I was waiting to see if the dagger said, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 okay, there's a or tiny it again. there's a tiny wisp of, well it's not so much smoke as it is vapor <laughs> coming off this dagger. And of course, what you're looking at, being veteran adventurers who have done shit like this before. Um, Just like always. Yeah. Um, yeah. This <laughs> dagger was momentarily super ionized. Oh. Uh -huh. But all the dampness in the air is condensing off of it and then being driven off of it. So you're not seeing a wisp of smoke. You're seeing what is almost a wisp of cold steam as oh. dampness goes off this dagger. I would leave it lie there on the floor for a bit to like <laughs> dissipate its charge before I went and stuck it's it in my mouth or something like that. You know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I do go and retrieve my dagger in between discharges to be safe. But, and then, yeah. so we have this choice of going through these big doors between the statues or the secret door. What say we do? I say uh, we try the secret door that... We do the secret door. Yeah, we're doing the secret yeah. door. 
I right. think yeah. that's a good idea. Of course, we'll wait between Push intervals. Push it open. And... <laughs> <laughs> I think never went wrong going through a secret door. When did I become the door guy? From the beginning? I find the door guy. <laughs> 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 we'll just call you Hodor. <laughs> oh, <nice. laughs> okay. Uh, I, I will door guy the door. Uh, th this would be the double doors between the stack. No, the secret. No, the secret. No, 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 no. Secret, oh, secret the door. secret doors. Just checking. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Ed. Yeah, well, you know, I am a, I am a gentle, nice DM. <laughs> You're not fooling anybody. <laughs> Damn, the, the mask is slipping. Okay, so you <laughs> do the push thing on the secret door, and it opens. And when it opens, it opens outward into your room. By the way, at the same time, there's another discharge going back and forth between the statues, but it doesn't seem to have anything to do. It's not precisely timed with the opening of the door. Did it have uh, the same the same violence as yep. when she threw the dagger? Okay. Yep, exactly the same. And as the door falls open, something falls that was leaning against the inside of the door, something falls at your feet. Is it vaguely person-shaped? Yes, it is like a desiccated person-shaped. Oh. A human, dried out, mummified, and very, very battered, as if it has fallen over, over and over and over again, and bits and like some fingers are missing and oh, it's the um, key. Is it's it the missing key. is it missing an eye? Uh okay. well it's dried no. up and desiccated, so <laughs> no, it doesn't no, it okay. does have its eyes. The the eyes are shrunken in. They're like okay. two little puddings. Next question was the hand. Thanks. I was guess, gonna guess Vecna. Can we can we <laughs> tell <laughs> Oh dear can we tell roughly how how long it's been here? Um, I mean, we're guessing years, right? Yeah, decades, at, at That's... least decades, maybe longer. Because so that means that the current residents, they're they appear to be newer. Mm -hmm. So that this thing is just they've just left it left the body here too. I was going to say, you know, maybe we could, I could speak with dead, but I don't know that it would be able to tell us anything about the current residents or anything like that. If it's or maybe times... who we're looking for. Doesn't even know what this is. Doesn't even know it's there. Well, it it looks like it's fallen over a couple of times, so it looks like some way to make a noise. Up. Right? They probably just put it there. Yep. It falls <clears throat> down. It makes a noise and alerts people that someone. Yeah, it's an alarm. It's yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. It's obviously been propped against the inside of this door, and they couldn't use you... a plank of wood. They had to use a corpse for this. Well, why well, not? There. It's D and D. What do you they, they, they put the, they put the gonna plank? find a plank of wood? Hey, if I had a corpse, I would have used it for the door. <laughs> and and when you look at beyond it to make sure there's like no foe waiting beyond it with a crossbow or something or a wand leveled at you, you see one of its missing fingers on the floor. Are there any rings on the fingers? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Somebody would ask. <laughs> <laughs> no, <clears throat> I, I I'm gonna be really kind and say no. Okay. Does the corridor go? Just push it to the side and go on a 45 degree angle up into yes. one of those other rooms, the yeah. 20 by 20. Yeah, the oh. corridor. Um, its easternmost wall is right. Um, running north from where the corridor with the lightning flares. It's a 10-foot wide corridor touching the diagonal northeast wall of the lightning things. So it's parallel with it, forming a 10-foot wide corridor. It runs to the same western uh, elevation or point at which the west wall with the two doors with the statues is at. And there, that corridor ends in a closed, featureless stone door. So it's going 
did you say northeast or going straight north from there? Uh, it parallel to the. It's parallel to the flaring wall, and it's ten feet wide. So. So it's on a, an angle. It's on a diagonal. Yeah, yeah, it's on a diagonal. It's a te- it's a diagonal passage ten feet wide, that is sharing um, a wall with the flaring lightning room to the south of it. I think I got it wrong here, but let me just peer. Yeah. Wait. That's wrong. No. I don't think that's right. Yeah, it, it's the okay. it's the other way. So the other way? It, runs, it runs right along that, that diagonal. Okay. Yeah. So are we still going through the secret door then? The the, the corpse secret door. <laughs> yeah, we've George. already stepped in. <laughs> we were right, just George, hide that. <laughs> And it ends in a in a door, double door. Sorry, Ed. It ends in a uh, single width door, ten feet wide. Um, that is a closed, featureless stone door. Um, but it looks like the traffic goes through the lightning doors. Yeah, is the traffic right? goes through the lightning doors. Yes. I think we should try the the lightning doors. That's up to you guys. I think we should. Um, I the lightning the doors, door, or we'll go through the secret hall. The lightning doors probably lead to our goal. However, I do want to at least peer at what's on the other side of the secret passage. Yeah, I'd like to keep going down the secret one. I'd like to ambush okay. people from the rear. Mm-hmm. Well, they already know we're coming, but yeah, I think I'd rather do the the secret door. They haven't seen us go through the secret door, as far as we know, so <clears> they might <throat> not know we're coming this way. How much noise did that corpse make, Ed? They, they heard us. Yeah. Oh, not a lot of noise at all. Okay. Um, if you weren't, if you weren't in the same room as it, you wouldn't hear it. It just sort of, okay. like, it, right. it, it's, it's sort of like taking, um, like if you'd taken a uh, laundry basket full of clothes, including some heavy jeans <laughs> in the clothes, and put it on a chair, and then the laundry basket fell off the chair onto the floor, okay. and and. The clothes muffled the basket sound, so it was just the clothes hitting the floor, like a <laughs> like that. Mm-hmm. That's about that's about the noise it made. Okay, that's fair. All right. Well, then quickly before oh, those more eyes. Do you know come, what a dead door sounds like when it falls down? No. <laughs> yeah, let's go on to the next door. There, the corpse going. falls in a dungeon. Does anyone hear that? <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> well, that depends. Does one hand clap? <laughs> As it's still got a hand? Oh, no, no. I'd like to <laughs> <get in> here. <laughs> Can we close the secret door behind us after we go into the secret passage? Okay, so you're all entering the secret passage and closing the secret door? I think so. I don't know about closing it, but maybe... Um, I think we, we should close it because the eyes... Arm to yeah. the eyes door stop. <laughs> if the eyes don't know we came down here, then if we close it, they might not know where we exactly. are. But if we leave it open, they'll notice the open door. I agree. Uh, I agree. Why don't we just close the secret door and not the other ones? That's what I'm saying. Oh, is that what you said? Okay, yeah. 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 I concur. So after it's closed, I light another torch. (laughs) Okay. Okay, so you all rush into the secret passage. Close the door. That's a rush. <laughs> okay, you I all, rush. You all. Okay, you all saunter. All relocate. <laughs> relocate. <laughs> strategically stalking commando style. Into and we attack the, new... the darkness. <laughs> yeah. we, we we sally. We sally. Yeah, right. You're not supposed to be commando style. We talked about that. Yeah. <laughs> well, if, hey, if, if Sally's right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will so acknowledge you... we have actually discussed this before. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. So you, you enter this little secret door, a uh, secret uh, passage, and you close the door, and you have lit a torch so you're not standing there in the darkness together. And you're in the secret passage. It's very quiet. It's very still. What are you doing? Are you um, that other door? Okay. You approach the other door. The door. Check for traps. Check ah, for roll. Roll. Yeah. Yeah. Percent. Oh, percent. 
Zond, I'm calling HR. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> 40. They know She's me. 40. Wouldn't that be fun if Zond was HR? <laughs> that's that's the safe word for work <laughs> when you're at work hr is the safe word no, it is <laughs> okay so 40 that's below your percentage mm -hmm. okay. that's below my percentage so okay so you see i don't like to think of myself as a problem for hr i like to think of myself as the reason hr people collect a paycheck <laughs> you're, you're amused job security yeah. so right. you you um you're fairly certain that there are no traps on this door fairly i'm pretty sure <clears throat> we're okay Let's yeah. go. You, you sure about that yes all right door. <laughs> and you push the door open and you're looking into darkness. Are you gonna? Um, nothing rushes out at you. Torch. Are you a torch? Oh, no. Ah, torch. Okay. You immediately can see that you're looking into a twenty by twenty room. It, uh, your door that you've opened just now enters it in the northernmost ten foot section of its twenty foot. <clears throat> um, long um, east wall and directly across from you in the northernmost 10 foot section of the west wall is another closed stone featureless door uh, the room stretches out to the south of you so it's a 20 by 20 room and in that room is mold stained moth-eaten, crimson silk draperies all along that south wall. And in front of them is a bunch of litter <clears throat> on the floor that it looks to be oh, it's dust and fragments. It looks like there was a couch or a lounge. You know one of those lounges that's for display? It has half a back and it has show wood all around it. And it has overstuffed cushions and pleated stuff. Well, that's the way it was centuries ago. Now, it's mainly dust with a few little lumps that were probably show wood. And they're all lying on the ground in a outline that tells you that there was once a couch here. I look up, down, all around with the torch, and does this seem like a place that hasn't seen any kind of action in a long time. Oh, there's been uh, traffic through the dust okay. straight across the room to the other door. Okay. And there's one or two faint tracks that suggest that somebody went over and peered down at the wreckage of the couch and said, no, there's nothing here. And then <laughs> went back, you know, but other than that, yeah, this Southern part of the room has largely been undisturbed. Shall we continue straight across? Strange. <laughs> sure. But yeah, what else can we do? Good me. We go. Okay. You go straight across. There is a closed stone featureless door in front of you. Check for traps. Check, check and make sure it's okay. Roll. Yes, sir. Oh, crap. I accidentally moved it. Um, 34, so below. Okay. You are fairly certain there are no traps on this door. Wrong. Door. <laughs> <laughs> you bang it open. You're staring into a 20 by 30 room. Uh, it is 30 feet east-west running away from you. It is 20 feet north-south, and your door is in the northernmost 10-foot section of the east wall. This room is empty, completely empty. It's like somebody stripped it. And there are no other doors, no other way. Uh, the ceiling, there's nothing on the ceiling. There's nothing on the floor. They're unmarked, unstained, solid stone, smooth. So the tracks just end suddenly. Well, the tracks 
move in a big ball in the center of the room on the floor, which suggests that there was something piled here that people went to and from a lot. <laughs> and I uh, presumably they carried it all away. So that um, their last few um, uh, journeys were all outbound, going east, out of the room, and took away whatever was here. It'd be where they were storing money. Away. Yeah. Yeah, they were storing something here. Some okay, so stories. we're at a dead end. We either go back or we could search the walls here for <laughs> any more secret doors. And But what, are you suggesting they stored the stolen items we're looking for? It might be. Okay. Yeah, I would just say search everything all the time. We're yeah. let, let, we're all yeah. searching for any kind yeah. of kind of secret door yeah. in this area. Okay. Uh everybody roll. Have fun everybody. rolling. Roll, roll, roll. <laughs> D20. Roll, roll, roll. Oh yeah, I, I rolled a D20. Yes, it should it be percentile? It's percentile, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but yes. It's been 20 years oh, since. Oh, we should have What's that say? 43. So, 73 for me, Ed. Okay. 40. 12. Okay. You you guys have checked all the doors, you, uh, the, all the uh, walls, you've tapped, you've scraped, you've thumped on them with the heels of your fist. You're fairly sure that you're dealing with fairly thin stone walls. Hmm. Um, as in, it's not bedrock here. It's Mortar? walls. Yeah. But um, you're fairly sure there's no secret doors or anything. It's sort of like, well, we could go back home and get a pickaxe and shovels and so on and come back and wail away and maybe get through somewhere. But you don't think there's any doorways. So through the statues then, right? It's our yeah. only other option. Yeah. By yeah. room it is. That's All right. right. We backtrack then. I think there was one other door that went to the north in that one area where there wasn't where the tracks didn't go. But there was, yeah, you're right in the in the mirror room from the privy. The mirror that privy room. If you go straight north, wasn't there another room similar uh, the door? There were two doors in that room, that twenty by thirty room. Right. One going north, and one going west. <laughs> like a, <clears throat> but there was no traffic through there right correct yeah which again could just lead us off on exploring a bunch yeah, of stuff that's exactly. nothing to do but, with our goal but then think about too i mean the, the the heavy traffic also means that people have been through here and haven't found the treasure the treasure may Maybe. not have been here very long though jeff right well that's the, true the way the treasure we're looking for was brought here within the last a, a day right so. yeah two days uh, okay so it was if 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 there, I mean, it depends if the ranger is saying little traffic or zero traffic. If the what ranger is the ranger saying, saying Ed, uh, uh, <laughs> little traffic. So then it's and... possible they only went down this way to drop off the treasure, but you know normally they live in the other part. It's more likely they're sleeping on top of their treasure because they're paranoid. So the, yeah, they saw us here like last night. And then they were like, okay, let's relocate the treasure, you think? Is that what you're saying? Could no, be. I'm just saying when they first brought it in, you know, you could either say, let's bring it into the heavily occupied part of the fortress, or if there's an empty part of the fortress, let's put it over there because, you know, no one will expect to go that way. Then why and move it? Who said they moved it? Well, it's, this is empty. Yeah. It, I, this no, is we don't know if it's room, here. We don't know. You were saying there's another set of doors. Oh, that got you. Not yeah, here. It may never it's have been in. in this room. Yeah, could anything could have been in here. We just know that people have been in here. True. Yeah. I, I, I think we should probably give up the backdoor approach and just go through the, the statues. Mm -hmm. I, I, agree. Agree. Yeah. I agree. Nice. La 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 la. La 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 la.